This is the Night Wolf howling at you, and before us are a bunch of broken G.I. Joe figures from the Vintage line, and I think a couple are actually from the anniversary ones that they've done previously. And right here, we have a G.I. Joe figure repair kit, which comes with replacement O-rings, screws, and the J-hooks for the legs if needed, or the crotch, I guess. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and do a quick repair on uh, at least one of these guys right now. Maybe a couple of them. Let's see how it goes. It also comes with some screwdrivers to use. It's kind of cute, but also looks like that's going to kind of hurt to use. So we'll have to unscrew the back. I think I'm gonna have to change the angle on this camera now that I think about it. There we go. So we've taken the screw out of Tunnel Rat. Pull him apart. We see the old ruptured O-ring. Our bag of replacements. I think this was, uh, I thought this was like 25 or 50, but maybe this is 100. And I can't work the bag. So here we've got our legs. Looks like the hook is perfectly fine and the legs are all solid. Aside from the fact that if you look here, um, the knee joint had gotten loose enough that I'd actually used duct tape in order to help hold it in place better. Very likely though that this is busted up inside. I'm not sure how to fix. Oh yeah, look at that. It's actually pulling out. So yeah, this, this, this leg is actually broken, broken too, sadly. So we'll take the O-ring. We will attach it to the J-hook. We will take the back of the Joe figure. Whoops. Got to put the uh, crotch in place. Luckily, the crotch isn't broken. Oh shit, I think I need, I should have brought pliers with her tweezers. Or maybe, can we put the... It's kind of weird because as a kid, I used to take these things apart all the time. There we go. We got the J hook attached there to the thing. This is the back of Tunnel Rat. It's got the larger spot to hold on the O ring with. Stretch the O ring. If you angle it just right, it won't pop off. Put his arms in place. Kind of set them on there so that it's hanging off. Put the head there. Snap that back. Our screw seems to be in perfectly fine condition, so we will just push that back into place. And we will tighten it. And we have gone ahead and we have fixed Tunnel Rat's O-ring. I don't think there's anything I can do about that knee, though. 
I mean, I could pull the thigh apart and take a look to see what's actually broken in there, but being that it's pulling out, I'm guessing the pin or what not well the plastic pin inside probably is busted. So there's not much we can do about that. But we have brought our tunnel rat here back to life. I can even see I've got tape on the flashlights there to hold them in place too. There we go. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe Vintage Series Tunnel Rat Repaired. Now we have William the Refrigerator Perry. I have my doubts that they will ever release this guy in classified series. For one, he died. And two, you don't know if the family is going to actually want to uh, license him out, his likeness out, because I doubt that they kept it for, uh, you know, since this was made back in the 80s. In this case, we do have a broken J-hook here. So we will need to bust out our replacement. And we will start by removing the legs. If I don't have to pull the leg all the way apart, I don't want to. And it does look like the screws are the same in the legs and the um, torso. Wait a minute, let me double check something here real quick. Looks like the hook goes in the front. I'm not sure if it really matters, but you know. So now we will slide the new J-hook into... Well, we might slide the new J-hook into place. This, uh, sadly, this J-hook, I mean, it is the replacement, right? But look how loose that is compared to how it was on the original one. Yeah, the um, the replacement J-hook in this case, the balls are not as big as they are, the balls, the ball joint is not as big as it is on the uh, original one. That could be an issue. I think I will keep the original J hook. Yeah, that is, that is really loose. I don't like that. I wonder if it'll be like that for all of them. I think I got this kit off of eBay. And it wasn't too long ago. I could probably still leave a review, so I might have to mention that. Real quick, let's take a look here. Yeah, it definitely, to me, it looks like all the replacement hooks are that small. Mm.
Like, are you kidding me? I just want to double check another one just to see if maybe it was a fluke. No, it's not a fluke. It's loose. Um, for the moment, well, we're still replace this one because you know, loose legs are still better than no legs. Uh. Um, yeah, that didn't kind of come out right. You notice he's got a different neck joint too than Tunnel Rat did. He doesn't have like the little ball at the end. He's just got a swivel. Oh. And it's actually not his O-ring that's broken. His O-ring, well, we should probably still replace it while we're at it. But yeah, his O-ring apparently was um was not the broken part. It was just the J-hook. So once again, we uh, get the hook in place. We stretch it along the back. We get the arms in place. We get the head in place. Whoops, we knock the head out of place. Put the torso back in place. Drop the screw in place. And we tighten it back up. Now you don't want to overly tighten it either because you don't want to strip the plastic because that's really easy to do. Um, on the plus side, even though the J hook, the ball joints in the J hook are really loose. Once you have it stretched in there, the friction does help keep it in place better. So he's not wiggling his legs too much. Let's not forget the fridge has this really weird football uh, mace. So there you go. This is how you repair GI Joe figures. Um, the kit was relatively cheap and it does come with clear plastic stands for the figures as well for display. It came with 10 of those. So I don't remember how many is in the kit. But it has extra screwdrivers. Because let's be honest. You could probably lose these really easily. And I'm not sure what this backside is supposed to be for exactly. But anyway. That'll do it for this quick uh, repair guide. For G.I. Joe figures. I have a whole bunch more that I need to fix. And I think I will actually set those up as shorts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love.